continues to head north. Mike? Continues to head north and once again, Ian is a hurricane. That just coming in a few seconds ago from the National Hurricane Center and headed for another landfall in the United States, this time near Charleston, South Carolina. The storm that has been full of surprises has surprised us again, becoming once again a Category 1 hurricane. And already we're starting to see heavy rain bands impacting northeastern parts of uh, Florida and also the Georgia area and up towards Savannah. You can see the heavy rain here. Here is the center of the storm. Now let me show you the five o'clock advisory. It just came in a moment ago. I haven't had a chance to see it. I apologize for the graphic. You can see our system is here. Right now winds are 75. It's moving north northeast at 10 miles per hour. Here's the forecast track. Forecast to intensify late tonight and early tomorrow morning and make landfall not far from Charleston, South Carolina. As you can see, as a category one hurricane. So as Todd pointed out, it's not done yet. It produced just catastrophic damage in Cuba and especially in Southwest Florida. Big issues in Orlando and across the Northeast. And now parts of the Carolinas, even Georgia, will feel the impact of this devastating hurricane. Meanwhile, back here at home, as we bring in meteorologist Glenn Glazer, we're still assessing the damage the storm produced here in South Florida on Tuesday night, especially that tornado in Delray Beach and Glenn, it was pretty powerful.